The police are making headway in the Charlotte Savory case as they have now managed to get a confession from the suspected murderer. Crime Chief Paul Williams revealed today that the main suspect in the woman's disappearance has been held in charge for murder. Williams, who appeared at the press conference along with women's rights activists and founder of Let the Women Speak, Diane Matre, who assisted in the case, expressed his gratitude. In terms of working with Ms. Madre, indeed, it is a wonderful experience, and also, we have seen the true standing as it relates to trust and partnership. Williams said in the confession, the murder accused listed a number of places where he said the body was buried. However, the police have not managed to find the body as yet. Despite this, Williams said he considers the case solved. He also noted that the police force is still trying to track down two other persons who might be able to assist in the investigations. The mother of the deceased, Dan Raji Murray, said she is pleased with the police investigation but is now hoping that the body of her late daughter could be recovered and finally laid to rest. I would like them to find the body. That's what I want. Seanette Savory, 37, disappeared on August 28, 2016, after leaving her apartment at 222 Prospect, East Bank, Demerara, to pay her electricity bill. Shortly after her disappearance, the police issued wanted bulletins for Patrick Bannister and his wife, Reticia Rahman. Savory and Rahman were said to be best friends. Just after the wanted bulletins were issued, investigators went to the couple's home at Bell West and dug up the concrete floor of the one-bedroom shack after they were informed that Savory might have been buried there. However, nothing was found. Seanette Savory was last seen alive by her relatives on August 28, 2016. 34 year 34-year-old Davindra Ramdia, also known as Duckman, was charged with the murder on April 27 after confessing to killing Savory, with whom he had shared an intimate relationship. Samuel Sipnandan, The Evening News.